Okay. Uh, and I'm going to talk today on the assembly. We use today were six to with relatives and a lot second generations as overall too difficult. Uh, read data computationally challenges comparison methods and overlap. Many for this uh, short from if you make each is of the uniform length and after to a single segment in graph, collapse to a single segment in the graph. And this is really nice the genome that you're assembling, and it makes it easier. To do the assembly graph, it's a lot con very con efficient. You only have to find K more sequences. So this graph, white right, rather, and also to resolve the back, back to the graph, which can for the work on for reading called G. Graph has the same property that repeats get collapsed to a single segment in the graph. This is done by you start from the initial graph and you perform two transformations. You first move identical and you read the same sequence to some needle to substring of some other read and event this graph. So to illustrate that with a single here we've got three reads shown at the top. Graph. And see these reads of the graph edge between three vertices. And you see here that each edge graph is labeled. This edge is labeled GC and the unmatched portion R2. And, and we here, if you label to R1, both so the proposal thing is assembly would condition the uh, sequence one and sequence of R2. So the assembly is seen as a this graph. Oh, we see at the bottom this edge uh, between R1 and R2, and R2 between R1 and R2, and R2 and R3. And, R3. and the property of edges is the label transfer seen as a condition to a non transit all the non transit irreducible. So in other words, the prefix is the uh, labels of the irreducible edge. And this is in the, the R1, R2. And this is going to be important to one I saw to the string graph. So go ahead and we're tracking all the old graph. We end up with this structure where it's the line, you know, uh, corresponds to the old graph. Here's a slightly more complicated example. Um, built in, mm, oh, 19 or 20 readers. Read here, and we three systems one segment in the graph. It's not a branch of it between different reads, but it's a single, single And the assembly process can be seen as just concatenating read, read, and no, uh, there's no ambiguity between the reads. So the assembly. Uh, or the path graph is shown in the bar. You've got the five relatively long segments that you get from your family. Okay. So now we're going to construct a string graph. Um, so we use a data structure called indexes by a fair giant and Manzini as a way to search. This structure is based on the Burroughs Wheeler transform. It's been a time uh, so two short read aligners, which should become sort of Method read a reference and the way this FF index um, for string matches is closely related to the array. So I'm going to start with that. So here's uh, an example of soft fix length of 
here. No one has turned into dollars on the character he did this year. So on the left, we've got uh, his offices. The first is the higher and the second is the and so on, all the way to 10. So if we, uh, the string is into left, which is the first column here, which is the index order. So pattern matching and if we're for a pattern, say just E, we can do that with binary search. And as this is a sort of data structure, all this is the pattern uh, occurring in the interval this way. So we see the two this is this pattern A, G, T, G, are the third position of the original text. So this is a really, really good search uh, for match but your bit base uh, is and for long sequence selection like say uh set a sequence film this would be about eight for every input base. So that would be in the range say a few hundred but I'll talk a bit about that later. So we need to have a fit of the search. So the FM index comes in is build world we look I've added this table, which is the BWT. So this is the character that precedes each sex. So the character for the lowest dollar is A, a and then B. That's uh, this is the BWT string. And what I meant, create two additional data structures as a way to compute for patterns. So how it works is if we're sucking into some say G here, we can calculate the suffix for as one base longer. This is called a backwards search. Um, so we have this the suffix for G T G and the suffix for G T, and this is the two data structure P of A in a way. I'm not going to tell you how this works, but you can find in other uh, things or original paper. The important thing to note here is that we can iterate the rules for longer and longer sixes of a pattern. It's a long way to search for overlap. It's a very space efficient data structure. It only based proportional to the length of the input. It has the BWT symbols in the uh, original text. You actually here. Uh, so as your text in the search time, I, this is the binary search over the sector of log n because interval up a constant time operation. That's I'm going to now illustrate how we use this structure to build string original three reads. Uh, we have the overlap down here, so we start by Index three of really transform string for that. Also, rules really transform for the reverse tree. So just reverse sequence the BWT and the FM in that. And it'll be important when we go to extend uh, matches to find. Certain flaps in the FM in say we're searching for the sovereign interval for the last base of our. That's highlighted here, and then use those two equations. Why calculate subtree intervals for longer? Port. The last three is for one, four, is five base, and a specific R to a prime of R. Because in this angel in the WT, we found permitting can add. And between R1 and R3 here. We continue, we hit a prefix of R2 and by dark these two edges. Now, until this procedure, fall, we just end in a whole graph. That would be fun. Really fast, trust me, really large. Um, a special object, but this one's sticking really high, 50 fixer on end. 
um, drag a lot of the sequence. What we'd like to do is differentiate between the introduce and transitive A is to construct a step. And we do using this reversed B. The involved in the reverse, the, the characters in that intention is, or the, the first base of this edge. If we building the edges one by one, we see the both we another step where there's say this is a G C and A, and here we'll hire label one or two. And notice this is a brief of the and since uh, was a story, uh, this, uh, a composition of, of irreducible edges that have sort of by the trans by just, just building place. So we get rid of that edge between R and R3, your other rest in the data set, we eventually build this edge R2, and we have this string is really direct. Because we never need to go to the world to transit over it. It's just. Let's log them now. I'm going to talk about so we actually get together as an assembler for real data. So, Python has um, index BWT in the FM index, then anything that we can use all the overlap card to build the string graph, and we assemble the reads, which is just look. Long on segments of the grammar and the other to get out of context. So, assembly availability is of concern, especially with projects. Um, you're actually going to want to sequence human genomes over from a and these systems need, need to be efficient. So, when investigating how this algorithm scales. Um, so in the paper we said that we close it on two. So we have a few million we required to construct the index of about fifty five gigabytes. If that in our human home, it will be about hundred gigabytes. Construct the index first must construct the suffix. This is a prohibitively large amount of memory place in the uh, sort of source, so we need to, to actually lower this. The, the other two, well, uh, they need quite a bit of memory, aren't as bad. The overlap step took about it's so to take maybe two gigabytes for uh, the whole genome step was around to the entire human genome. The memory data was month to two. Uh, we've done two things. First, we implemented a distributed indexing system. As I said, we had to build off array. If you need to get the index, no, we will in parallel. So, first index for subset, there would say like 5 million or 10 million reads, FM index, and then we moved the indices together. I think that this new algorithm And this is a disk based, where you don't need to keep much information um, in memory. So get more efficient than doing the entire sub so we can distribute a cluster of so that's more efficient to do than just doing a sub. Um, the second improvement that we've done is improve the efforts. So the Brule transform was designed for text compression. In the 90s, that works as the permian up of characters into the string. So you'll end up with a long run of, say, 20, 20 90s. Especially for redundant reads. Obviously, say we have the sound and time, and maybe 20x or 30x for them that over. There's huge redundancy in this. That's what we're going to use compressing WT, saying using raw length, including really memory requirements in the FN by four them. So, those the actual results of. Um, you know, I'm going to do about 550 reads. And now VIX 50, that's down from our rest of about 7. 
this is this is within the reach of more centers than I think you have care about um, the index was about a hundred. This trivial wall clock was maybe for days. The overlap memory only is 50 gigabytes now, and overlap time the time required to build the for CPUs. And this is threaded, uh, I think, for a presentation. So we'll see ours. Now, the bottleneck is this. Assemble stats, string graphic memory to identify we can assemble together. That takes about 214 that we're working on. Then we're hoping to bring that down and launch these on figures. This is fast, and only is about 23 seconds. Two hours. Assemble these are three seconds. Base. These are high. Um, so now is the last part of my talk. Handle obviously is an interpret process base in your so you have to handle this. What if we're just doing this? Do this is we've uh, added we've extended our overlap to use heuristic similar to what we in for short read alignments when you're doing backwards search or over. Instead of just going base by base with exact matches, you'll actually like to branch and go to different base battle lab. And after that, we add two uh, extra steps for our index. The raw reads perform uh, base uh, correction and then along with our assembly in the same way as before. This is just what the error correction looks like. We've found overlaps for this. And in each one of these overlaps, there's a C here. There's some completely crazy. Um, I'm talking about salt using the sound. So the name of this assembly is called SGA string graph assembly. It's very easier to do the more popular to bring graph assemblers for short reads and velvet. So this is just a uh, 100 bit 20 x that's a perfect so no sequence is a baseline and constructed uh, the internet with an N50 or A full of abyss with this is and all C7 kills this I prefer the, the drone assemblers uh, on this data set just because it controls all these subject three pieces uh, in framework. Now just one person uniform base calling it's a data set. Uh, the drops for all the assemblers now we're down to 67 kilobases. Uh, 20 base velvet, 2 kilobases. Interesting that if we feed and read back in the embroidery assembler, it improves uh, for this velvet. So, this 45 which is with perfect data and velvet, 67 kilobases, which is really close to uh, 67. So it shows that we can actually improve the drone in a sense to this inexact over in the air show. But the strong stack is actually doing the right thing. Um, the last thing to offer uh, links some real data using a pro that the Lunar released coli 100 base pair read yet yeah, really high, almost 700 x about 8 million read the low air rate of. We're right in between the two De Bruyne assemblers. So SJ's 60 LA's, BIS was 55, and VEL was 71. Uh, compared to this, it was simply yeah. accurate. And just by just assigning content to the reference, uh, look for the portions of the content that aren't. My friend, so here the new algorithm has three systems totaling kill cases. Abyss is most accurate with one misassembly. Uh, is in velvet had most of these. Uh, okay, so Likewise, it's the same for number of in mismatch 
we'll call um, SJ third and Abyss twelve and uh, they'll move forward. Been testing this internal product hangers and sequencing. Um, also for our mouse sequencing project, we're starting to use the uh, new stringer assembler. Okay, to wrap up, um, we're developing a fabric lab based assembly for trees. They're very long, I'm saying they're compared to the assembly. Um, we actually own the air correction. We improve the brewing and it's very actually efficient because we build this large string graph. We just need the FMA. We can form this uh, correction for a human genome sequence of seeds to 60 gigabytes. Um, we haven't done uh, uh, and emulating this new algorithm, but that's obviously something we're working on. We um, release this as software for particularly lighting application is technology is going to be important over the year or two. Is that people are going to want to different technologies? So the alumina, um, you can get a grade because the throughput of the, the is so high, but you might want to use four or five feeds, or even capillary reads are up to create longer configs. Fix read uh, assembly problem. It doesn't mean framework, but you have to make this choice. Camera parameter might uh, want to work for short reads, it might not work out longer. It fits better to the string framework. And so this is going to be something. The next few months. Uh, so I think I'll leave it there and just uh, thank you for the saying. Uh, Archer did obviously been instrumental in the All the institute for discussions, uh, strengths, and Vecan from the University of Helsinki, he, he came to give up on his compressed indices uh, last fall, just as his values and outcomes were useful for us. So I'll take your questions. Of a pro right now, say, um, so just uh, how error correction deals different to genomes where you can expect some level of polymorphism. So, right now, if we have, um, if we see the same nucleotide number of times, like three times, we'll say, okay, this is probably some sort of polymorphism and not correct it. I hope something uh, a little more robust. Actually, quite cool values in that do popular holistic frame for correct case words or form. Yeah. Thank you very much for the talk. Uh, so, the Bowdoin assembler has the trouble with alignment. So, you can't uh, that particular method to map read from, say, uh, four, four back, for instance. And so, how does that impact your idea of? Multiple different kinds of technology, different things. Is are you thinking about how you could modify the actual core algorithm in such a way to have the gap alignment? Yeah, sure. So, go to F um, minute, speed up, so to build up and search. And it's really the same as allowing us to choose some say, branch to different new. Neither you don't move uh, which character you map skip one. So you, you increase your space to that, but you can't move buttons. And we are going to be doing this as we look for four or five for a uh, particular impact IO. Some trouble figuring out why you develop it on the people And what's left of the job that you're done doing? So, the Dubois assemblers have been around for a couple of years. There's a lot of into their heuristics for dealing with real. There's like obviously sequencing is the clear the ends, um, and it fits really well into the joint. Especially 
the coverage was 700x. So, so the coverage you're expecting came to be sampled perfectly at least one read. So there's a huge draw to use a De Bruyne, uh, a De Bruyne in this uh, sequence. So, so I will be better than the sample is the lower coverage is at they try in 20x and also where you're a lot longer than what the game plan could be. So you're saying false overlap and stuff are giving you trouble? Um, well, if you look at the Velvet Contigs, a lot of the large ones just sent to. So you have to take that into account. Um, but I think that E. coli data set was never great. It couldn't be sequenced. Um, most of them that I have that case where you just run and no. So difference in that sort of uh, reconstruction, like 50 to 67 and 50 range, a matter of like two, three. And there can be, um, I think there can be improvement for them. We've only been working with a month or two, so I expect it to be a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, you might talk about that, but um, yeah, I'll see. How do you handle the repetition of in the genome. Right, right. So ideally those are collapsed in single segment. Um, this is this why that happens is because of that transitive rock and the string graph and removing these identical sequences. So you, what happens is that the repetitive read all generate so the repetitive read uh, regions of the gene generate the same you get this one stretch in the graph with multiple entrances and access, which was sent through these, you'd stop where it happens. Okay, yes. thank you.